you have to find the maximum sum of non adjacent elements so you have to find the maximum sum of elements in an array containing positive numbers such that no two adjacent elements are included so uh, say we given this array now we have to find the maximum sum of the elements of the array such that in the sum no consecutive that is adjacent elements are included okay so in this case um, the maximum sum will come from adding 3 and 5 as 3 and 5 aren't adjacent it actually makes a lot of sense so 3 plus 5 is 8 which is the answer in this case so let's consider the algorithm from the next slide so let's consider the algorithm we start by initiating variables exc to 0 and inc to the first element in the array the variable exc that is exclude tells us the maximum sum obtained so far excluding the previous element encountered and inc tells us the maximum sum obtained so far including the previous element so at any point of time the maximum sum of non adjacent elements would be the maximum among exclude and include so when we have finished uh, the whole array that is we have encountered all the elements the answer would be the maximum among exclude and include so uh, we have used exclude and include because we don't want to consider adjacent elements in the sum so let's start iterating through the string starting from the second index the variable that we will use to iterate through the array would be uh, the variable i okay so when we are including the current element we have to exclude the previous element so this is the current element that we are scanning we add it to the previous value of exc because to include the current element we have to exclude the previous element we don't have a choice over here so we can't take the previous inc value we have to take the previous exc value and we add that to array i we get the value of inc all right so if we are considering the current value of exc that would be uh, the fact that we are currently excluding the element that we are currently scanning so that means that we can either include the previous element or we can even exclude it so we figure out which one of them is higher and we choose the value appropriately so if exc is greater than inc we choose exc so over here we've taken the max value of exc and inc it's important to note here that this is the old value of inc the value of inc changes over here so we store the old value of inc at this step and we use the same value over here so at any point and even at the end the maximum um, sum of the non adjacent elements should be the maximum among the exc and the inc values that is the maximum sum including the previous element and the maximum sum excluding the previous element so this is the answer right over here so let's consider the example that we considered in the first step so our example is the array 2 3 1 5 initially the values of inc E, X, C are 0 because we are excluding this element and we have to include this element over here. Okay, so when we have to figure out the values for uh, this particular element right over here, we see that we are including this element means we have to exclude the previous element. So this value would be 3 plus 0 would be 3 and excluding the previous element means that we can either include the previous element or we can exclude it so 2 is greater than 0 so we take 2 in the case of 1 the value of inc would be 2 plus 1 that is 3 and exc would be 3 because 3 is greater than 2 when we consider the element 5 the include value of 5, 5 would mean that we are excluding the previous element so it would be 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 as the previous exclude value is 3 and the exclude value would be the fact that we are excluding 5 uh, means we could include the previous element or exclude the previous element so as the same 3 is equal to 3 so we can take any of them so the final value would be maximum among 8 comma 3 which is 8 so as we can see 8 is equal to 3 plus 5 and these are the two elements that comprise of the maximum sum of non-adjacent elements.